salutations to the big, beautiful world out there. Thank you again for joining the Class Clown series, edition Provinces and Territories of Canada. And this is the finale. At the back of the camera, you'll be happy to know that Cena is still there. Hello. Taking care of us, as he does. And on my right, you might notice there's a very beautiful lady seated next to me. Her name is Ella. Ella. Yes. <laughs> Do you want to tell us a little bit about yourself, Ella? Sure. Well, my name is Ella, as Sarah just mentioned, mm -hmm. and I was born in Canada, in Toronto, and um, I studied communication studies, but I have worked as an ESL teacher for about 11, 12 years, and now I'm teaching Spanish. Mm-hmm. And actually, we taught together mm -hmm. for the same Korean program, Dynamic English. So. Yeah. Yep. So we've known each other for a while. We're so happy to have you on the show for the season finale. Absolutely. And so today we're going to play some games and we're going to test out my knowledge of uh, different aspects of Canada. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get started. Let's go. Okay, Sarah, so you're ready? I'm ready. So the first thing we're going to do is a trivia game. So uh, Ella's going to read out the questions and feel free to participate and guess the correct answer before I do. Mm -hmm. You can try, but will you succeed? <laughs> well, let's see. Sarah's fast, guys, so heads up. Let's go. <laughs> yes. Okay, right. so number one. Yes. An Inukshuk is a figure made of stones. Mm -hmm. In the Inuktitut language, Inukshuk is a word that means A, to serve as a favorable guide, mm -hmm. B, to follow the river, or C, to act in the capacity of a human. Wow. To act in the capacity of a human sounds like the right answer because it's reflective of their culture from my extensive research. Am I right? <laughs> yes, you're yes. right. All right. So yes. C was First correct. one's in the bag. Yes, all right. But uh, can I ask? So I don't think I understand what that means though, to act in the capacity of a human. Oh. Is it like to do something that any, everybody would do or? Hmm, that's a beautiful question, Ella. <laughs> and I would love to answer you in the best capacity that in I know how. To <laughs> <laughs> so in their language. <laughs> No, it's a good question, and if I have to be frank and not be Sarah for a moment, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> to act in the capacity of a human, I take it to mean to be humane and act in the best interest mm -hmm. towards of humans. The community, uh, and yes, the human race as general. Exactly, mm -hmm. to generally wow. be help to other humans. That's really nice. It's I beautiful. think so too. There's a word for that too. Wow. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay, so question number two. Mm -hmm. A loonie is a one dollar coin. Mm -hmm. So is the loonie pictured, sorry, is the loon pictured mm -hmm. A, in the air, Yep. B, in a field, Okay. or C, in the water? Okay, so uh, side note everyone, for those of you who don't know, a loon is a type of bird and uh, Canadian people treat this bird as very special and so mm -hmm. it's on some of our coins. Mm -hmm. On the loonie, in fact. And I know the answer to this one because I'm a very observant person. In the water. It is pictured in the water. Yes, you are correct. Bing, bang, boom. Ding, ding, ding. Yes, <laughs> thank you, thank you. Okay, number three, Number Sarah. three, my favorite number. Is it? Yes. Oh, okay. So you should get this right. I'm hoping so. Okay, the Canadian government changed the lyrics in the anthem. The lyric, true patriot love in all thy sons command, mm -hmm. was changed to A, true patriot love in all the rubber bands. <laughs> that is important. Mm -hmm. <laughs> B, true patriot love in halls of love demand. How romantic. And C, true patriot love in all of us command. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, love of rubber bands. We like rubber bands here. Yeah, oh my goodness, they're very functional. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna say no to that. No to be mm. as romantic as it seemed. Mm. I'm gonna go with C because Canada is trying to be like equal in all regards. So gender neutral in all of us command. Bam! Yes, all right. Hey. Go Canada. Go Canada. Uh, hit me with another one. Okay. If so you, if you got, if you got some I more. I have more. Okay. 
Okay, sorry, I'm I'm so busy thinking over here. There you are. <laughs> okay, number four. Mm -hmm. What's Canada's national animal? Okay, A. Okay. Canada goose. B. The chipmunk. Or mm -hmm. C. The beaver. Well, Canada goose is a good brand. Mm -hmm. Keeps it warm. A touch expensive, but that's yeah. okay. But we all know the beaver is the correct answer. You are right. Yes. 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 All right. right. Why be left when you can be right? <laughs> right. Okay. Honor roll, Sarah. Good job. Thanks. And we are known for beaver's tail. Not we're oh. not, not, not we're not known for that, but we eat that. Yeah, so not the actual beaver's <laughs> tail. <That's powerful. laughs> it's actually funny because um, I was raised in the States and at the county fairs they used to have elephant ears. Not actually, oh. you know, not the not actual ears. ears of elephants, but it's the name of the dessert. So in Canada we have beaver tails. Mm -hmm. mm. And it's delicious. So is it the same, elephant ears? The, the concept is the same, but mm. it's, it's different. Oh boy. Okay. okay. All you right. got quiet in yeah. here. Because <laughs> I really want to know. Everyone's been thinking about elephant. It's like, hmm. Who's hungry? Mm. I don't know. <laughs> okay, number five. What does the Canadian A usually mean? Oh, okay. A, flamingos are awesome. Mm hmm. They are. B, don't you agree? And C, what do you think? Okay, I need to run some examples through my head because. Mm -hmm. Do the uh, flamingo one first. <laughs> flamingos are cool, eh? It's hot in here, eh? It's winter time, eh? So, I'm not gonna go with A. I think it's B. Wouldn't you agree or don't you agree? Don't you agree, yes. Awesome. A. 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 Very popular. <laughs> Super popular. Eh? Yeah, eh? <laughs> yeah. Okay, number six. <laughs> yeah. What percentage of the world's polar bears live in Canada? Okay. A, <laughs> one third. Mm -hmm. B, half, one half. Mm -hmm. Or C, two thirds. Well, guys, I was actually shocked when I was doing my research because I do know the answer to this. Mm -hmm. And Ella herself was shocked to know. That guys, two thirds of the world's polar bear population is found in Canada. Shut the front door. The front door has been shut. <laughs> and yeah. The answer is still yes. the same. <laughs> yes. Two thirds. <laughs> two, thirds. <laughs> two thirds. So that was C, right? Yeah, that was Even C. Even with the door closed. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Even with the door closed. <laughs> the window is open though, so you know. Right. Half and half. Two thirds. Uh, yeah, two thirds. Nope. All right, hit me. Hit okay. me with another one. All right. Number seven, Nova Scotia is Latin for A, New Scottish Land, B, New Scotland, yes, and C, New Scots Town. Hmm. Oh, no flamingos. <laughs> no flamingos in this question, but uh, everyone out there, if you've been watching our episodes this season, you would know Nova Scotia in La well, is, no wait. Latin Nova Scotia is New Scotland in English. Wow. Could you say that again? <laughs> yeah. So Nova Scotia, mm -hmm. the name of the place, mm -hmm. is in the Latin language. So if you translate the Latin Nova Scotia mm -hmm. to English, it is New Scotland. There you go. Uh, okay. Wow. Wow, well, guys, you're done. <laughs> Learning yeah, a lot today. Yeah, we are, we are. Okay, hit me, hit okay. me again. All right, eight. Which province is the smallest in Canada? A, Nova Scotia, mm -hmm. B, Prince Edward Island, mm -hmm. or C, Russia? <laughs> Just joking. Okay, that's, <laughs> that's kind of intense. Okay, not so, Russia. so not Russia. Not Russia, okay. Newfoundland. Labrador. <laughs> okay. <laughs> totally different from Russia, but okay. <laughs> that um, is a tough one. P.I. Or Newfoundland no mm -hmm. or Nova, Nova Scotia. Scotia. Yep. Um, yeah, if you haven't done your homework, then it would be confusing. Okay. But I didn't want to get embarrassed today, and mm -hmm. seeing as how, you know, I was the expert in all the other episodes, I know it is. P.E.I., also known as Prince Edward Island. Yeah! Prince Edward. Mm -hmm. 
Woo! Yes. Yes. Okay. Bing, bing, bing. You have two questions left, Sarah. We are the champions. Copyright issues. Oh, <laughs> we mix them. Um, um, we are the champions. <laughs> 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 I was just yawning. I ain't got the money for that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens mm -hmm. when I yawn. She was yawning musically, Yes. Guys. Okay. Is there any other way? No. To yawn? Yeah. How do you yawn? <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> no. Not musically? Weird. Mm, okay. <laughs> okay. All right. All right, number nine. Which Canadian city hosted the Olympic Games? A, Montreal, mm -hmm. B, Toronto, mm -hmm. or C, Fredericton. Mm. Well, Fredericton is, I think, too small of a place on the map to have the Olympics. So sorry, you said Montreal, mm -hmm. Toronto? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, guys, let's not pretend I didn't do my homework. <laughs> but I do have a bad memory sometimes. Um, Montreal, I'm going to go with... Yeah! Oh, hey. yeah. For a bonus point... Tell us which year. When was it? Well, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to search the shadows and the nooks and crannies of my mind and say 19. Okay. 70. Okay. Six. Is yes! the correct answer. Yes. Right. Okay. <laughs> you can collect your bonus point later. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Okay. This is the last question. The last one. So if you get this wrong, none of the other answers count. Oh. And you've lost. I've lost. Okay. Okay. okay, I don't like that word. Okay, so what are the two national sports of Canada? A. Tobagganing and cricket. Mm -hmm. B. Hockey and basketball. Mm -hmm. C. Hockey and lacrosse. I know hockey and basketball are very popular sports to watch and entertainment for Canadians. Mm -hmm. But I also know that C is correct. Hockey and lacrosse are the main national sports of Canada. Yeah! yeah! The winner! Is that another copyright issue? Okay. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> because that's, that's what I do when I go to the washroom. Hey. That's how I walk okay. to the washroom. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Bum 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 bum. Oh, yes. And you got it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, I hope you had fun playing the trivia game with Ella and myself. And next, we have a simple game, but an important game mm -hmm. because it has important information in there. Mm -hmm. Especially for who, Sarah? Especially for those who choose and wish to immigrate to Canada, mm -hmm. or even live for a, a spell in Canada. You know, a mm -hmm. year abroad learning English, it's good to know. But yes, for immigrants coming to Canada and hoping to get their citizenship. All right. That's All right. right. Okay. So we're doing Next round. Canada's provinces and their capitals. But mm -hmm. we've thrown in a little surprise. I was going to say chicken nugget, but <laughs> surprise. I saw a chicken nugget. <laughs> like I saw it on your forehead. <laughs> so, of course, we have the province's capitals, provinces mm -hmm. and territories' capitals. Mm -hmm. But also, you should know that the capital city is not always the largest city. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, some of the provinces and territories will have three pieces of information instead of one. Mm. Mm -hmm. Just for fun. Mm -hmm. Let's see how it goes. Ella, are you All ready? Right. I'm ready. Excitement. Okay, so this should be the easiest one, but maybe not. Maybe not. Mm -hmm. What is the capital of Canada? <laughs> <laughs> Just joking, guys. I know this one. Mm -hmm. The capital of Canada is Ottawa. Yes. Mm -hmm. But it's tricky because everyone thinks it's Toronto. Yes. I uh, let's be real, okay, mm -hmm. and let's be frank one more time. So sometimes I, I, in the past, I thought it was Toronto too. Yeah. In the past. Were you three? I was a newborn. <laughs> okay. All right. Then it's fine. And then it, and that so explains good. it. Okay. All right. <laughs> so yes, Ottawa is the okay, capital cool. of Canada. Uh, <laughs> okay. So next we have Northwest Territories. Oh. You got this. The capital of 
the Northwest Territories is Yellowknife. Mm. Yes. Mm. Okay. Good. The next one. Yes. The capital of Yukon. Ah, I have a mnemonic device. Good. To uh, remember this, uh, White Horse. Mm hmm. Because the knights on the white horse are strong, and they say to themselves, "You can do it." <laughs> yes, it's true. <laughs> you can, white horse. Wow. Okay. Uh, so, do you have the same um, strategy for Yellowknife? To remember Yellowknife? Uh, just that it's another territory, and it's not. And it's not white horse. <laughs> and it's not a white horse. But there's really? another color in the name. Yeah, there's another yeah. color. Mm -hmm. White, yellow, yellow, snow, and gold. Sure. Yeah. Oh, and okay, anyways. Let's that continue. Works. Okay, so the next one is Nova Scotia. Scotland. Uh, that New doesn't Scotland. help. <laughs> London. <laughs> Can you give me a hint? Okay. Are hints a lot higher? <laughs> 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 Oh, that's your hint. Oh. Hmm. And um, I'm gonna just I'm just gonna send this document. I'm gonna fax it over. Oh Halifax! Yes. <laughs> Halifax! Oh, oh yeah! Ha, 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 We caught on. We caught on. Eventually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. This is the good. next one. Uh-huh. New Brunswick. Wicked, wicked, wicked New Brunswick, Fredericton. Yeah. Hey. Wow, guys. Good job. All right. She's feeling the heat. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little hot in the kitchen. Okay. Okay. All right. Manitoba. Winnipeg. Yes. Yes. Winnie the Pooh. Right. Yes, Winnie the Pooh. Yes. Look at our Manitoba episode because there's a little anecdote in there for mm -hmm. you. So, what is the capital first of British Columbia? Vancouver. That's not what it says here. The capital? The capital of British Columbia? Yeah. It's just a lot. It's just like the whole Toronto thing, right? People yes. might think Toronto is the capital of Canada, but it's not. It's Ottawa. Yeah. Yes. Victoria is the capital of British Columbia. Mm. Oh, silly me. But everyone thinks of Vancouver. Yes. Vancouver. Which is the largest city. Exactly. Wow. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. Note to self. Note to self. Gotta remember. Okay. No need for the snip snip. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. The capital of Ontario is the capital of Ontario is Ottawa. What? Um, yes. No. I mean, just joking, guys. <laughs> It's Toronto. Yes. 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 I mean, yes. Everyone is allowed to have brain farts now and again. <clears throat> so that is confusing. So the capital of Canada is Ottawa, but the, but capital, the capital of Ontario, Ontario is, is Toronto. Toronto. And the biggest city in Canada is also Toronto. Yes. Most populated city yes. right. in Canada yes, yes, is yes. also Toronto. So yeah, three different questions. It's con this is a confusing but beautiful mm. country. <laughs> <laughs> Like a woman! <laughs> Confusing but beautiful. Yes. True. <laughs> okay. The largest city in mm -hmm. Quebec. The largest city in Quebec mm -hmm. is Montreal. But the oh. capital is Quebec City. Yay. Yes. Very nice. Okay. Yeah, that was smooth. Like a fine wine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. The capital of Prince Edward Island. Prince Eddie. Prince Eddie mm -hmm. has a girlfriend named Charlotte, and she's from the capital city of Charlottetown. Hey. Yay. <laughs> yes, that's that's how this noggin works. Charlotte, Prince Edward's girlfriend. Yes, and the capital of Saskatchewan. Regina. Mm -hmm. Yes. But the largest city is Saskatoon, also known as the Paris of the Prairies. Hey, good memory, Sarah. Thanks. Well done. Some things, they stay. Other things, they just fly out overnight. <laughs> Who knows why? So the Paris of the Prairies, why is that? 
great question. I encourage you to watch our episode <laughs> <laughs> on Saskatchewan. I mean, a little hint, you know, like Paris has very beautiful views and so does oh. Saskatoon for okay. similar reasons. And that's all I can say. Right. Okay. Teaser, not a spoiler. <laughs> yep, yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have two left. Oh my goodness. All right, let's do this. Okay. What is the biggest city in Alberta? Oh my flapjacks. Hint? A hint. Um, why don't you call a friend and ask <laughs> them? <laughs> Why don't I cal a friend? Cal a friend? Cal a friend? Oh, uh, ooh, oh cal, I know it, I cal, know it. Cal a friend? What? <laughs> hey, uh, could you call Gary? Oh, Calgary, <laughs> yes! <laughs> call a Gary! Yeah, okay. I will never forget this. I will take this information with me to my grave. <laughs> Calgary. Yeah, Calgary mm -hmm. is the largest city in Alberta. In Alberta. In Alberta. Yeah. Okay, okay, wonderful. And the capital? Edmonton. Yes. Beautiful. Okay. All right. Last one. The very last one. Newfoundland and Labrador. <clears throat> what happened? What's the first letter? <laughs> S. <laughs> Is it Saint? Eight. Yes. Oh, oh, Saint? Huh? Yeah, Saint Saint Anne's? No. Saint I Oh, 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 Saint John. Yeah. Saint John. Yeah, 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 Saint John. You got it. I thought Saint John's work. That's how I'm going to remember it. But oh, it didn't connect. That's good. Mm. That's how you know when a mnemonic device is not successful. Yes. <laughs> Scratch. You gotta change it. Yeah, scratch it out. <laughs> All, right, All right, that was good. Um, are we okay nice. to wrap up with uh, another game, a quick game about Canada's animals? Sounds good. Okay. All right. All right, let's do that. Mm. Okay. okay, guys, so the name of this game is Five Iconic Animals of Canada. Okay. Long title. <laughs> and uh, short, because it's only five of the animals, right? So uh, Ella's going to drop some hints on us and uh, I'm going to try to guess the animal before she finishes the hints and for all of you out there, just guess along and see if you can get it before I do. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. So this animal is the largest member of the deer family. Um, it can weigh up to 550 kilos. That's pretty heavy. Mm -hmm. And. It has an ice cream flavor named after it. Oh, okay. Well, there's the kicker. Yep. Moose Tracks ice cream. Mm -hmm. That's how I remember things. Mm -hmm. If it's food related. The moose. 550 kg. That's unbelievable. And two meters tall. Yes. Two really? It can be up to two meters Those tall. Those beasts are huge. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Wow. Hmm. So All the right. moose. The, the moose, moose is, is the, the, answer, is the first iconic animal listed. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, the next one is Canada's largest rodent. Mm -hmm. It can cut <laughs> trees with their teeth. Okay, so can I. Just joking. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm related. Who knows? And we have an expression which is as busy as a beaver. Yes. Hey, yeah. Very nice. You're as busy as a beaver today, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Do you say that? I usually say as busy bee. as a bee. Yeah. Busy as a bee? Okay. Yeah, but maybe that's universal, but us Canadians, oh, uh, yeah. Canadian we like to version. honor the beaver. <laughs> <laughs> True. Okay. You gotta respect the beaver. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, They're hard working. For sure. And extremely adorable. Adorbs. They are. Okay. They are. All I right. love them. All right. Okay. The next animal is a marine mammal. Okay, marine mammal, got it, not a manatee. They are social. Okay, mm -hmm. and... Um, they like to partake. They are only found in countries that border the Arctic. So Canada and Russia. 
and Russia. Mm. Mm. Okay. <sighs> okay. I know it's a kind of whale. Mm-hmm. Starts with a B. Oh. Maybe? That helps. The Belgian whale? Err. Uh. Beluga whale? Yeah. Okay. Sometimes the memory needs a jog, I promise, guys. The Belgium? <laughs> Belgium. Bear. Yep. And those whales you know like that chocolate. Canadian animal. Yeah. The oh, yeah. Bear. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, All right. Time is okay. of the essence, guys. Okay, 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 okay. So next one. Uh, this animal is the largest species of its class. Ooh. The fur is translucent. The fur is translucent. Something about Coca-Cola, I guess. It's oh, polar bear. <laughs> yes. Polar bears. Oh, so cute. Something about Coca-Cola. <laughs> there you go. Okay. And it's on the Canadian toonie. Oh, yes. That's a, that is a good fact. Mm -hmm. Maybe you yeah. guys have seen them. Yeah, the loony the and the toony. Loony mm -hmm. and the toony. Okay, and the very last one. Mm -hmm. Okay. It is the official symbol of Newfoundland and Labrador. They look cartoon like. Mm hmm. They fledge. Yeah, fledge. Leaving for months to live alone at sea, but they mate for life. Oh, that's sweet. Like seahorses and penguins. Mm -hmm. Penguins, yeah, I know that. Mm -hmm. Do you know this animal? Do you know? It's a very artistic looking bird. Its beak is very colorful. In fact, guys, it's called the clown of the sea. Get out of here. I'm not going to get out of wow. here. We're still making the video, <laughs> but... Stay where you are. <laughs> yeah. So I'll stay where I am. The clown of the sea. It is the... Oh, the puffin. The, the puffin. puffin. Yeah. Oh, isn't it so cute? I don't know. Even the, the name is cute. Oh. The name is cute. The yes. name is cute. She don't know the pun. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. That's well, okay. they're not here in Toronto, are they? That's true. They are on the internet, though. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but yes. What we're saying a... is, read a book, people. Yeah. <laughs> or go online. <laughs> Do your research. Especially for those interested in coming to Canada, uh, feel free to comment. Please like and subscribe to the channel. For those of you immigrating to Canada, you can visit canada.ca and .ca. You can also download this free PDF online, mm -hmm. Discover Canada, a study guide. Yeah. And uh, we just want to thank you, Ella, for coming and being yes. a wonderful co-host. Mm -hmm. Thanks for having me. Thanks no a million. Problem. All, All right, right, guys. Bye-bye, and we'll see you in another episode. All right. Happy learning. Happy learning. Bye.